Hey y'all, period! It's your girl Tara and I'm back with another video. Hey, I go shopping, mm, run it, then I cop it, hey, yo. Hey y'all, period. Um, I'm going to be doing a butterfly locks tutorial on already done hair, basically. So I'm going to like reuse this hairstyle. I just washed my hair, blow dried it. It's still wet a little bit at the ends, but we're not going to talk about that. But I'm going to show y'all how to, instead of taking your box braids out, turn it into butterfly locks. And we're going to get into it. Hey y'all, so it's raining outside, so don't mind the little raindrops in the background. But basically this clip is showing y'all everything that y'all would need for this hairstyle. You know, everybody got that same crochet stick. And, you know, really getting you prepared to know everything that you need before you attempt to do it. And first what I'm going to say is you will need six to eight packs. I got six technically. It's two packs, but it's three in each pack. So six packs and I used almost all of the strands of hair except for one piece. So I would highly recommend you get an extra pack just in case you want some thicker or longer or something like that. And you know, right here, just me cutting my hair and I was like, I didn't want to do that. But you know, I had to try to style up for y'all because it was requested. So here you go. Basically, it's just me cutting the hair to the length that I want my locks to be. And as y'all will see in, you know, a further part of the video is that I will cut the locks a little bit more to make them a little bit shorter because I didn't cut them long enough the first time. Hey y'all, so next what we have here is putting edge control on your roots because the last thing you want is for your roots to be dry and puffy looking and in the beginning of the video I showed y'all the grease that I used so you already know make sure y'all grease your hair before or at least after y'all do y'all style so your scalp does not be dry because that is not cute. But now we're putting in the crochet stick in between both of the braids because we're going to have to connect them together. You don't have to do this, but I wanted to because, um, you know, I was just trying to hurry up. But yeah, this is a quick way for me. I put, Instead of doing each braid individually, I like partnered most of my braids up except for the ones that were in the front because I didn't want too much pressure on my edges. But as you can see, it goes straight through both of the braids. Well, it goes straight through the, like basically the root. Of both of the braids and of course you see me cutting it some more because it was a little bit too long and um, I was pulling that one so I can show y'all that you're going to match one side up with the length of the braids you can see how I'm pulling it down just to match it up I don't know why but that makes it look like very much better I don't know what trick that is but it works so make one side the same length of the braids and the other side just let it hang down so you can have that to wrap around the hair and of course after I wrap it around a couple of times I'm going to push it up because you got to make sure you do not see those braids at the top um you know so you gotta I want to say like stretch the hair out but like kind of make it a little messy so it can have a distressed type of look when you're wrapping it because you don't want it just you know just too perfect to the point where you can't cover the whole braid it needs to be a little bit messy and stretched out a little bit so you can wrap it around and cover the whole braid and you keep twisting in most videos I've seen people say twist a specific way it really didn't matter to me all of my twists came out looking the same but I tried my best to twist them all the same direction and what was more effective for me to twist it towards my face like y'all see like I'm twisting I can't say backwards but I'm twisting like towards I'm twisting forward if y'all could really understand like instead of twisting backwards because that like my hands and my you know my elbows they just wasn't agreeing with that so twisting towards my face was the best for me a lot of people say twist the other way that didn't work for me 
And I was trying to do the thumb method, but because I already, you know, stretched the hair out a little bit, like made it kind of messy, I really didn't need to do the thumb method where you put your thumb in there and twist it and make it like, you know, some of the pieces stick out as you, well, as you will be able to see at the end, I barely had to do that. I just pulled, pulled a couple of pieces out that I wanted out, you know. And for some reason, if I can find out what reason that is, I will definitely come back to y'all and let y'all know and do another Butterfly Lux tutorial but on someone else. Because at the ends, my ends weren't like, like I couldn't get all of the hairs to stretch all the way to the end. So either I would cut the lock some more, but if it was up too far and I didn't want to cut my hair, I would just get another piece and wrap it around the rest of the lock, like wrap it around going downward and then I saw once I got to the bottom wrap back upwards if you can really understand like you wrap it and then I swing you wrap it downwards and then I swing you make make like a loop and then I swing you start wrapping upwards y'all can see like I'm kind of wrapping up now and all I had to do was make a loop and just go the opposite way and that just really helps us stay like super secure because I tried not doing the loop at the end and that did not work. So basically in this clip, as y'all can see, I'm basically just doing it again, but showing y'all at least twice because I feel like me personally, I need to see something more than once. I can't just look at something once and then, you know, just have it. You know, I got to see it a couple times, you know, but this one was very hard to cover up because it was one of the blonde ones and, um... It's like it was unraveling a lot at the end, so it was hard for me to cover the end, as y'all will see, like at the end of me doing this um this lock right here. But it that was the only challenge. If you're gonna do it, please just don't do it on knotless box braids. Just do it on your natural hair or do it on a, like a like you know if you're gonna add some hair, then do that. But don't cut box braids and do it because that did that did me no justice with the blonde ones. It was very hard to cover. And also, if you wanted to know, I didn't use any type of glue. I also didn't have to, like, tie my hair at the ends and then wrap it back up. All I did was wrap it the right way and then make a loop and then wrap it the same way going back up. And nothing unraveled. This is the next day. My blonde isn't showing or anything. So, you really don't need any extra, you know, things to use with it if you can just wrap it correctly. Now, if you you know, have a problem with wrapping then obviously you could try those methods as well but I didn't need to do that and also if y'all want to see me taking these down or make a video on how to take them out then please comment down below and let me know because I'll be very excited to do that I just wanted to point out that I can see how much my braids were unraveling in the back and I really didn't like that so again please don't try to um cut hair and then do butterfly locks on them but this is really the result of the hairstyle the lighting was bad because you know it was nighttime this hairstyle took me five hours to do that is great for me um I started at 3 30 it was like 3 30 something and I got finished at 8.14 exactly. Y'all don't mind my face in this clip. I don't know what was going on. Maybe because I was sleepy, but I looked a little irritated. That, you know, don't mind that. But 
I'm really trying to attempt to put my hand in two buns because I keep seeing a lot of Instagram posts like that. And I feel like it's so cute, but maybe I have to let it loosen up a little bit. It didn't hurt too much, but maybe it's just too fresh to go in two buns because that was not working out well for me. But I'm just showing you all the different ways that you can put the style in. And at the end, I also put in some clips. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now you've been served, I like a dude with a little bit of curve. Hit this bitch with an uppercut.